Okay, and continuing with the animating, I am to the midpoint with my frames, and now I'm moving past the midpoint, and in order to do that, PhotoP is going really slow, but I'm going to uh, start playing with this asset. This was my finished exercise too. And I'm going to start moving things around and drawing on top of it and messing with it. So to do that, I opened up my Photoshop document and I'm cleaning it up now. And what I really want are all of these shapes so that I can kind of edit them as I go. And I think I'm going to keep it simplified. I'm not going to have the pattern effect on it. So let me take that out as well. And I only need this folder. So I'm going to try to copy the whole folder. Edit, copy. But I don't know if that's going to work. Then I want to put it, edit, paste. Nope, that didn't work. I just confused it. I tried to drop the whole folder onto my assignment. Remember I saved it first. And that did work. Okay, good. So I was able to bring the whole folder over. And this you could do with a, a GIF animation you wanted to bring in too. And drag and drop it onto my tab and it brought it over. Now the problem is that means I can close this. And that will save the memory. But the problem is the size is very, very different, right? Because the resolution is very different. We were doing exercise two still at print resolution. So what I'm going to do is take that folder, really shrink my screen, then hit Control T and fit it. Shrink it, come on, to fit within my window. Making photo P work here. Hoping we can get it done. Ah, oh, the joys of technology. Let's move it on there. Come on, get me a little closer. So it's getting a little closer. Holding down shift so it doesn't distort. can do it. Moving it on. At least I can see my transform box now. Now here's, here's an interesting observation. Do you see how all of my layer styles, as I shrink it down, my layer styles, like my strokes, all of those change. My outer glows, all the sizing is now different because they're all tied to resolution. But the good news is because I'm bringing in the whole folder, I have control of all of that. So these are just assets. So I'm gonna bring folder three into layer six. Right? That means I can turn it on and off. So it takes a while to be seen. Come on. Oh, here we go. I gotta turn the whole layer on. All right, so let's go through and kind of understand this and clean it up so I can start messing with it. So all of these, the bloody hood, I take off all those effects. I don't wanna take off all of them. Let's see, let's take off the stroke. But I want to leave that gradient. And nicely, that's already in a folder for me. So it can just be turned on and off, which means I can move it, I can mess with it, and I can change it. So let's do a color overlay as well. 
So it's a little bit fuller and let's change that color being a little bit redder. Maybe a little browner. Okay. And then the gradient overlay, it's on dissolve, but I'm going to make its opacity a little bit. Oh, no, I guess not. A little bit less. Because at this scale, it's a little much. And I'm going to change that color a little bit. It's a little dramatic. Going for something a little bit more realistic. Okay. Now, that's understood. I'm just going to move all the mouth things into their own folder. Good. What other mouth things are there? All of these. These. Remember how many shapes it took to do this stuff? Oh, that's why. Okay, and then the mouth folder has some effects on it that I need to turn off. And that's the drop shadow. Come on. Whew, organizing all this stuff. It's folder two. There you go. There it is, folder two. Is it the wrong folder two? All right, I'm getting really confused here, so I'm going to go back in my layer order of my history. Maybe consolidate some of these, because I don't need to um, change all the individual mouse shapes. Hmm. Where are the different bars? Why are they not showing? There we go. I'll move that down below. Yeah, sometimes when you put things into folders, their order changes based on the order you put them in. So that's what was causing me the, the problem. Okay, so now I've got more stubble. I like that. I put all of this into that mouth folder. So I can just turn the mouth on and off or warp it as I want. Hmm. Doesn't like that. 
I have to make a mouth two folder. These are the eyes. So I'll just call that background mouth. Okay. So I'm trying to understand this asset so I can really work with it, right? I've got highlights for the eyes. I've got the hood. Because they're vector shapes, they're like cutouts of paper. I got the teeth, I got the mouth behind, I've got the nose, got the eyes, which have crazy and turn off some of these. The outer glow on the eyes. Eyebrow, keep that. Eyebrow, keep that. Except I don't really like the bevel and emboss. Yeah, I'll keep it. There, turn off the outer glow. Or, you know what? I'll make the outer glow really, really faint. There we go. Opacity of 22. So let me turn that on on the other one. So this is just playing around, kind of seeing how you want to get to where you want to get. Come on. And then the horns and the bass. Come on. And then this circle is the one I'm kind of questioning. I think I'll change its size a little bit. Control T. Good. And then I'm going to change its color to match the fabric. Maybe a little darker. I like that. Okay. So I'm working towards kind of a, a slightly more believable orc head now as I go. And all of that is nicely in this folder, which I'm going to call in this folder now are all those different big shapes to use. So it goes from this now to this. So let me place it a little bit better. Control T for the whole folder. And I can use my arrow keys to nudge it into place. And I'll just continue growing it just a little bit out. like so. Okay. So now we go from this to this. And I get to decide how much opacity I want. So let's do it at full opacity there. 